are you this week? It's Mr. Paul here. Good to see everybody. I can't believe that it's already Friday again. The week went by so fast. <laughs> I feel like I was just hanging out with you guys, but I'm so glad that we're back hanging out together again. I hope you're ready to make some more art. Are you feeling creative? <laughs> I am, and I'm feeling very colorful today. I've also got paint all over my hands because I was painting all morning. <laughs> Mr. Paul spends a lot of time making art, a lot of different kinds of art, and it's all super fun. But my favorite kind of art is when I get to hang out with you and we can all make art together. So go ahead and get your art supplies. Today I'm going to be using construction paper. I've got like, wait, wait till you see this. I have got a lot of construction paper. I wish I could share it with all of you. If I could just feed it through my computer and give it to you right now, I would. <laughs> if you don't have construction paper, that is okay. Um, plain white paper works too. You guys know you can always use any art supplies that you've got because artists make it work no matter what. But I'm gonna be cutting out shapes and gluing them together today. So if you wanna do that, Maybe go and get a pair of scissors and glue if you've got it. You can ask your parents if that's okay. But if not, you can do today's project completely just with drawing too. You don't have to do, you don't have to have scissors. You don't have to have any of the super fancy supplies. But I was feeling kind of fancy today. So <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm doing this. And I like to try to show you guys different, different kinds of projects to give you ideas. Okay, so I'm going to give you a second to get your art supplies together, and I just wanted to tell you while we're waiting that last week, if you guys were here and did last week's video where we read the book Peanut Goes for the Gold, and we all drew Peanut, <laughs> I want you guys to know how much I loved getting to see all of your drawings, and not only me, so I took all of the posts that I could find where you shared your artwork of Peanut, and I posted it all on, on social media. And the author of the book, Jonathan Van Ness, saw it, and he went crazy. He shared it, and he commented about how much he loved all of your artwork. So basically, you guys are all famous right now. You might not have known it, <laughs> but he's a big celebrity and he loved your art and he shared it with everybody. So I just wanted you to know that lots of people are seeing what you're doing and appreciating it, but mostly me. Um, when I started making these videos, it felt kind of weird just sitting here in my room talking to my computer. But as soon as you guys started sharing your artwork with me, that made such a difference. It made me realize I'm not just talking to my computer, I'm talking to a whole bunch of awesome people, all my friends out there. So thank you guys for joining me and hanging out and being so creative and keep sharing your artwork because we all love to see it so, so much, okay? So are we ready to get started? Well, I am. <laughs> oh, hi, Renata. I see my friend Renata is watching. She just left me a comment. Renata is an awesome artist. We um, have done a lot of art projects together. All right, I'm gonna work on a big piece of paper, but if you guys just have normal size paper, that's good too. Um, I, I like to work kind of big so you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Let me take this down. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself, like usual. All right, put that over there. All right, so today, I thought it would be really cool if we make butterflies together. Butterflies are one of my very favorite animals because they are so colorful and I think it is so magical how a little caterpillar <laughs> spins himself into this cocoon and then himself or herself and then comes out a big beautiful butterfly. And I feel like right now we are all kind of in our little cocoons, <laughs> trapped, <laughs> not trapped, but we're staying at home. So we're like all tucked away in our cocoons. And then when this is over, we are gonna pop out and be the biggest, most beautiful butterflies ever, right? 
<laughs> so let's make them. I got the idea because my friends at the Pacific Grove Art Center are starting this cool project where they are asking people all around, all around the world to make artwork of butterflies and hang it in their windows so that people outside who are walking on the sidewalks can see your butterfly. So maybe if you make a butterfly with me today, if your parents are okay with it, maybe you can hang it up in your window too and post a picture of it. It can be a drawing of a butterfly, it can be a collage like what I'm doing today. However you want to make your butterfly, but hang it up so, so that everybody out there can see your artwork, right? So butterflies are symmetrical. Have you ever heard that word? That's a big word. <laughs> symmetrical. What it means is that they are the same on both sides. So if you drew a line down the middle of a butterfly, one side and the other side match. Kind of like my face, sort of. If you drew a line down the middle of my face, one side of it is looks like this. The other side, <laughs> that example isn't working at all. <laughs> all right, let's try again. This side of my face, this side of my face. If you drew a line down the middle, it's the same on both sides. Unless I do something weird like, <laughs> like make a weird expression just on one side, which I don't know if I can even do. So butterflies are like that too. So we're going to cheat a little bit. If you have a piece of paper and if, you're gonna, if you plan on cutting it out like I am, fold your paper in half. Maybe some of you guys have made um, Valentine's Day cards before cutting out hearts. This is kind of like that idea. Okay, so I've got one big piece of paper and I folded it in half. And this, by the way, was just a random piece of cardboard that I found in our garage. <laughs> so you can work with whatever art supplies you have. And I'm gonna put this up here so you guys can see. I think you can see, yeah. Ta-da! All right, now this side right here is where the fold is. That's important because the fold is the center of the butterfly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, starting over here where the fold is, so on your paper, if you folded it, go where the fold is, you're gonna draw one wing. Your wings can be whatever shape you want to. They don't have to look like mine at all. Another wing, okay? Remember, that's the middle. There's the wings. Right? You drawing your wings? Now, if you're just making a regular drawing on a piece of paper or in your sketchbook, you can just draw the outline of the butterfly. You don't have to worry about folding it or anything. But if you plan on cutting it out like I am, then that's how you do it. All right? Flat, flat, flat. <laughs> All right. Mr. Paul, it's time to be serious. <laughs> Focus. All right. So now what you're going to do... Take your scissors. Hopefully you've got some kid-friendly scissors, not like, not like these giant things. And then with your paper folded, just like you would with a Valentine, you're gonna cut out, can you see? Cut out your butterfly. I got a brand new fancy microphone. You guys see it here on my shirt? So you can probably hear the sound of my scissors really good. <laughs> Cutting cardboard is a little tricky. Paper would be easier. Almost done. You guys working on your butterflies too? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes when you're cutting things out, if you cut off the extra part you don't need, that can help make it a little easier. There we go. Are you ready for the big moment? It's going to be exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. Pop! Ta-da! Look at that. It's beautiful. It even flaps. <laughs> Don't fly away, though. We, we still have more work to do. All right. I'm going to pin this guy down. <laughs> Sorry, little, little buddy. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's step one. We've got our, our base for the butterfly. 
So now if you guys have construction paper or some kind of colored paper, that would be a lot of fun. You can use that and cut out shapes like I'm going to do. If you just have white paper, but if you still want to do some cutting, you can take markers or colored pencils. And here, I uh, <laughs> sort of set those a little closer. Um, but you could take your favorite color, like mine's purple, on your paper and just color it. Make your own construction paper. Have to be patient, but it works. Okay, so if you want to cut out and you don't have colored paper, just color your own paper. All right, it's a masterpiece, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this. So think about what are your favorite colors? What color do you want your butterfly to be? It can be as many colors as you want. A lot of artists use just like a few colors in their paintings, but I'm gonna tell you when I'm working on my artwork, I put out every color that I own because I love color. <laughs> so color is up to each artist, but since butterflies are symmetrical, you remember what that means? That means they're the same on both sides. What we're going to do when we cut out a shape, let's take the paper, fold it in half so that whatever shape and this time you're not gonna cut on the edge where it's folded. You're only gonna cut out here. Whatever shape you cut out, you get two of. Ta -da. <laughs> All right, so now take your glue. This is the fun part where it starts to come together. Put glue on it. The first one, you don't have to be too careful. You can just stick it wherever you want. But here's the tricky part. The second one that you do has to match on the other side so that it lines up and looks like a symmetrical butterfly. Well, it doesn't have to. I think one of the things that you might remember, <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the things you might remember me saying from other videos is there are no rules in art. So you can do anything you want, actually. Your butterfly can have all kinds of crazy shapes that don't line up at all if you want. But I'm going to try to make mine line up. So look to see where it meets in the middle and then put the other one going the other direction. Like that. Gorgeous, right? Okay, let's do some more. What color should I use? Any ideas? I've got so many colors. I'm going to use some purple. And it's also good to cut out lots of different kinds of shapes, too. You don't have to do all the same. I Think about all the different shapes that you know. It might be fun to do some triangles, some rectangles. I'm going to start off doing a few of these long ovals first, but then I'm going to try some other kinds of shapes because you can put any shape you want in your butterfly. Come on, glue. Okay. Beautiful! It's a masterpiece! <laughs> Do you guys talk to yourselves when you make art? I think I've told you before. I like to talk to myself a lot when I'm working. And when I'm not working. <laughs> Let's see. Ta Gotta line them up. Beautiful. All right, let's try some different kinds of shapes now. I want to do a triangle. You can draw the shapes first if you want. And if you want to just draw shapes on your butterfly and color it in, that works too. You can do this completely as a drawing. You don't have to do any cutting if you don't want to. But... If you are cutting, try making lots of different shapes. That makes it really fun. And then it's like putting together a puzzle to figure out where the shapes go. Do you guys like doing puzzles? I've never been too great at them because I always want to use the pieces and make my own picture. <laughs> I don't like to follow the rules. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes you have to turn it around to see which way it's going to look best. I think like that. 
Beautiful. All right, time for a new color. The other thing you can do is put layers. So maybe if you have a big shape, maybe you want to try putting some small shapes inside of it. That might make it more interesting. See, you could just go on and on forever. You could put 100 pieces of paper on there if you want to. We could be here all day, make the longest Facebook Live video ever made in history. <laughs> well, probably not. It's okay to make mistakes. Sometimes you have to adjust. Nobody's perfect, especially not Mr. Paul. It's good to have some tiny little shapes and some big ones. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this little piece of artwork for inspiration, too. I almost forgot. This is a painting and a collage by an artist named Katie Lease. And if you look really close, you can see she's drawn the shapes of the birds, but then she cut out different patterns of paper to make the birds with. So that's a lot like what we're doing. Whenever you cut up stuff and you put it onto another surface like this, it's called a collage, C-O-L-L-A-G-E. So we are collage artists today, if you're doing something like this. All right, let's make some more big shapes. There's a real art to figuring out how to use just the right amount of glue. Because if you use too much, you're going to have glue oozing out of everywhere. That's no good. All right. <laughs> I've got glue on my fingers now. I am liking it. How's yours coming along? Are you having fun? I hope I get to see all different kinds of butterflies. That's gonna make my day. Let's see. <laughs> uh oh you didn't see that did you <laughs> just had to make a little adjustment beautiful all right i'm gonna do one more we'll keep i'm gonna keep my butterfly kind of simple i kind of want to spend like two hours on it but <laughs> i won't well, I probably will, but I won't do it all on camera. All right. Beautiful. All right, now... Our butterfly needs a face, I think. So I'm going to take this black piece of paper. If you've got construction paper, you can do this too. If not, just draw it. You can draw right on your butterfly. Um, but I'm going to, let's see, how can you guys see this? Maybe if I draw it with, oh, I know, with white. 
Okay, so I've got my black paper folded in half. Right here where the fold is, I'm going to draw half of a circle for the butterfly's head. And then I'm going to draw a giant oval for the butterfly's body. Oh, you can't see that, can you? There. See? Circle, oval. Gorgeous. Good. <laughs> All right, let's cut that out. So since symmetrical means that things are the same on both sides, can you guess what asymmetrical means? Asymmetrical means it's not the same on both sides. So if someone has a really wild haircut <laughs> where it's short on one side and it's long on the other, there might be a lot of people with haircuts like that right now since a lot of people are cutting their hair at home. <laughs> That's called an asymmetrical haircut. Look, there's our butterfly body. Gorgeous. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a little chubby butterfly. I like I like chubby animals the best. So if you remember, I drew a chubby unicorn on our first class. Okay. Glue that body on there. What should our butterfly's name be? Any ideas? I have to think about it. All right. We need to give butterfly some eyes. So I'm going to fold a white paper in half. Let's see. Draw little eyeball. <laughs> and cut them out. Ta -da, butterfly eyeballs. Let me get some glue in there. Let's stick them on. Now, if you have googly eyes sitting around somewhere at home, googly eyes would be perfect for this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those little, like, bubbly eyeballs that jiggle? I don't, sadly, I don't have any of those at the moment, so I have to make my own. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good, but I think I'm just going to use my Sharpie and draw some little black ovals inside, maybe leave a little spot for a highlight. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> All right, now what's missing? There's something important that I have not added yet. Anybody know? The antenna! Butterfly has to have an antenna. Let's see, what color do I want to use for that? Maybe I'll use purple so it stands out a little bit. And it's already folded up. So I'm going to draw... You can make your antenna however you want. But I'm going to draw two lines and a circle on top like that. Okay. Then we're going to cut that out. Come on. It's harder to cut the small shapes, I think. All right. Got antenna. <laughs> Let's stick those in. So for that, I'm only going to put glue on the bottom so it just sticks to the to the butterfly's head. Maybe I can even tuck it down in there. There we go. There's one. And two. Ta-da! It's a masterpiece! 
Now, you could cut out a lot more shapes. You could take markers and go into it and draw more patterns and colors and things. You can do anything you want. Use your creativity and make this butterfly your own, your own artistic statement. Okay, this is just giving you an idea, but I want you to be creative and put your own spin on it because that's what artists do. When you create a piece of art, you're telling us something about you. So give your butterfly a personality, you give it a name. <laughs> I think I'm just going to name mine Palenque. That's a good name, huh? This is Palenque the butterfly. <laughs> Let's see. This is the real test. Let's see if Palenque can hold it together. <laughs> flap, 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 flap. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> So cute. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hang it in my window after we're finished with this and then I'll take a picture and share it so you guys can all see. All right. And if you want to hang yours in your window, if your parents are okay with that, that would be awesome. But hang it up anywhere, even if it's in your room to make your butterflies. When you make awesome art, you have to put it up so you get to see it and enjoy it and appreciate it. So don't just tuck it away somewhere. If you can put it in your window, put it there. If you can put it in your room, put it on the refrigerator. Put your butterflies and your other artwork all over the place. Make a little art gallery at your house. That would be awesome. That's what my house looks like, too. <laughs> all right. I hope that you guys had fun this week. I had a blast, as always, hanging out with you. Um, if, you have, if you've missed some of the other videos, you can go back through on our Facebook page and watch them. And also, this weekend, we're going to be adding them all to the Palenque Arts YouTube channel also. So if you, if you like watching videos on YouTube, you can go onto YouTube and search for Palenque Arts and give it a follow, and then you can see the, the videos on there also. All right? So I hope you had fun. Stay creative. Try to do something creative every single day, even if it's just making a little doodle, because that's important. You've got to keep, got to keep making stuff. That's what us artists do. <laughs> and share it. I want to see your work. All right. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week. Have fun. Wash your hands. I'm going to go do that now because I have glue all over them. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye-bye.